I'm just going to find some nice light so that I don't look washed out on this very grey day. Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Um, I'm not sure how cohesive this week's vlog will be because I'm a bit all over the place, both mentally and physically, or will be revealed uh, later on in the vlog. Um, but today I'm just getting ready to head to the train station because I'm going to Manchester for the night. So I'm staying over and I'll be there tomorrow as well to catch up with some friends who I've not seen for a very, very long time, probably close to two years now. So I'm really excited because I have a few friends who live up in the north um, and where I'm situated in the UK, it makes it kind of difficult for us to sync our schedules up regularly and actually see each other. So, and also because of where I am, it takes sometimes up to five hours for me to get to Manchester. So I don't get to see these friends very often. Um, so I'm very looking forward to catching up with people. And I'm also very looking forward to going to Manchester because I've not been to Manchester for over two years. And I think it's a really cool city. I just, I, I love it up there. And I feel like in the past two years, lots of new businesses have popped up, lots of nice new independent shops and cafes and stuff. So I'm excited to see what's new in Manchester. So I will take you along with me. Um, I've had my hair done as well. You might not be able to notice. It's a very, very subtle change, um, but hopefully it looks slightly noticeably lighter. I just had some very, very, very subtle bits of blonde put in. I wanted it to look as natural as possible. Um, I basically, my hair just, I felt like my hair just looked quite flat. So I put a mood board together of what I call basically beige hair. I kind of, I basically said to my hairdresser, I kind of want beige hair, if that makes sense. Um, so, and I think she has achieved that very well. I'm, extremely pleased with the colour. Um, so, yeah. It also looks a lot nicer than the colour. Oh yeah, I like this. It's just there, right? Yeah, there's a... Oh, Having major deja vu because um, I've woken up. I'm in the same hotel group that I was in in the previous vlog. Um, it's dark again, too dark to really show you the room. Um, I'll try though because I booked myself in to a suite, um, which I don't normally do. But I booked so far in advance that it was about I think it's like eighty pounds for the room. And I rarely book myself into large rooms just because it's normally just me and I'm only here for one night. But I thought I'm gonna treat myself and I wanted to see what the slightly bigger room was like. Um, and I must say, I am impressed. Very good value for money. I'll, I'll try to show you. So as you come through the door, there is a partition wall here. See on the left, you've got the bedroom area and on the right, you've kind of got the living area. The bedroom area is really quite big. The bed's also really big, really comfortable as well. I had a good night's sleep last night. And then behind me here is a ample uh, sized wardrobe space with all iron and hairdryer and all the things that you need in there. And then round the corner is the living space with a very nice green sofa. What you can't see is the lovely uh, pink tone that all of the walls are in here because it's just coming up as this really weird colour at the moment. And then you've got a full dining area with a kitchen, which is entirely black though, so that's not going to show up very well. But yeah, it's kind of like a small apartment basically. And then through here is the bathroom, which is also pink. I don't know if I can change the white balance. And Oh, there we go. That's, there we go. That's much better with some blue accents as well. Okay, so I've now got a full day in Manchester which I'm very looking forward to. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain. Uh, it, the sky is blue at the moment, but I am in Manchester after all, so the likelihood of it raining is very, very high. But yeah, I can just have a day of kind of wandering around, get some breakfast, get some lunch, see what's new in Manchester.
Lovely, lovely. Go again. Mm -hmm. I like the look of this one a lot. Oh, and a big Picasso. Yeah, that pork looks really nice. Pork. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And what did you get? I've got a Dali book that's got some uh, paintings in that I've never seen before. Um, just a little exhibition booklet from an exhibition that I guess happened in Norwich a while back. 1999. Yes. <laughs> Brandy, still sealed. Rodan. Should be very nice. And of course, the one and only. And another David <laughs> Hockney book. I feel like we've got a lot of David books out. <laughs> We're trying to collect them all. But we don't have this one. No, that one looks really good. We do not have this one. Um, oh, it's got good drawings. It's got a good cover. And. Yeah, it's got some. It's got loads of drawings in actually. Good haul. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. That one's cool. Wicked. Should we go get some lunch? Yeah, let's go get lunch. Right, I'm going to start off this extremely cold Monday morning with an OOTD. It's absolutely freezing, it actually snowed in some areas of England over the weekend. So I am wrapped up very, very warm today. Um, I'm wearing my Le Mer camera bag, which I will now take off so that I can show you my outfit a little easier. Um, is that going to stay? Yep. So from top to bottom, starting with um, my hat, which is from Arquette. It's a wool alpaca blend, so it's a little bit itchy, but I quite like how oversized it is and it keeps my head very, very warm. Coat is from A Momento, a Korean brand, which I got last winter, so I don't know if they're still doing this particular style. It's a wool cashmere blend and it's double faced, so it's extremely, extremely warm. I'm just gonna switch hands, do this very delicately. Um, it's very oversized as well, which makes it perfect for layering over chunky knitwear, as I have done so here. Um, this cropped, kind of relaxed turtleneck is from Andorta. I love that it's cropped because it makes it easier to tuck into high-waisted things. Belt is from Margaret Howe from, uh, I think I got this in the summer. And uh, jeans are the weekday voyage in the uh, kind of faded black grey colour. And then boots are from Le Grez. I also got these last winter and I've been reaching for them again this win winter so much there's such a just very chic simple boot that kind of go just above the ankle there you go sorry the doorbell just went and i cut that out because no one needs to hear that doorbell again um what was i about to say um Oh yeah, so I'm going to the studio today to just catch up on admin. I'm very, very behind on comms, shall we say, um, including YouTube comments, which I've not had the time to sit down and reply to properly. Um, and I always like to really give the replies a lot of time, especially if people have given their time to me to, to comment something. I like to return the favour and actually give a sort of in-depth response. So I'll do that today and then just, it's just a full-on computer day really, just catching up on everything. Then I'm going to go to the gym and have an early night, I think, um, have myself a bath, you know, cook myself a nice dinner and then sit and read my book. I'm very all over the place at the moment. I feel extremely disorganised and that is because um, I'm moving. This is the thing I kind of wanted to sit down and update you on. Um, and this is partly the reason why I feel a bit all over the place as well at the moment. Yeah, I'm moving. It, it's, a, it's a positive move because I'm moving back in with Dean. I'm moving back into the house. So long, long term uh, followers will know that I used to live with Dean in a beautiful house and then I moved out this time last year, actually. Um, and where I'm living now was always supposed to be a stopgap. Um, I didn't really know how long for. However, my landlord has decided to sell the flat. So I feel like this is kind of like a sign to, well, obviously I, I, I need to leave, um, but it's a sign to kind of go back to the house and start thinking about what um, mine and Dean's future looks like. So whether that's buying a new project, buying a new house, building a house, who knows? But I feel like I'm we're, we're in a really good place and we're both ready for that next step. So yeah, 
I'm moving house. Um, obviously very, very sad to leave this flat. It is absolutely beautiful and I feel incredibly lucky to have experienced living in a place like this. Um, but yeah, moving is stressful at the best of times, but trying to get it done in quite a rush before Christmas, I feel like is extra stressful, along with just balancing that with work and just trying to keep myself organised. I Like I was saying, I feel extremely disorganised at the moment. I can't... Yeah, I'm just... There you go. I'm all over the place. Um, and there's lots going on with work and Dean's really busy with work and, yeah, trying to fit a move in with all of that just feels quite anxiety inducing at the moment but I feel really positive about it I'm I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to get back in the house and get the Christmas tree set up and everything I just I'm so so excited um but yeah there's a lot of things in this house that need to go into storage until we are in a kind of bigger space um so I've got to sort all that out yeah this is all really really boring but I just thought I'd update you because that's kind of like the thing that's consuming a lot of my time at the moment and will consume a lot of my time over the next couple of weeks obviously I will I guess document a bit of the move it's really not going to be that interesting because I'm moving back into a space that you've already seen um but nevertheless I'll bring you along on the journey right I've waffled on for long enough weather to get myself some ramen oh I was so so like in the mood for this today I was like I'm going out and get myself a big tub of chicken ramen with broccoli and egg what am I looking for a fork that's it um but before I eat this I think I need to change my jumper really Um, it's 11 a.m. and I've got all the lights on. Can't believe it's this dark. Um, anyway, I am going out for dinner this evening and I wanted to show the earrings that I'm going to wear this evening because at this time of year, I always end up just wearing like a black turtleneck, some nice trousers and I just put on a really nice earring and maybe a red lip if I really want to zhuzh things up. And the earrings I'm wearing this evening are absolutely gorgeous. They are from a creative kind of like multidisciplinary studio based in Oslo called Mold Studio, um, founded by two people called Mikkel and Linda. They do loads of incredible things like um, photography, styling, uh, storytelling. Uh, loads of things but they also have their own products um, and their jewellery is absolutely beautiful. I discovered them quite a few years ago actually, I've been wearing their earrings for years. Um, they always just do like really beautiful uh, statement earrings but done in such a like minimal sculptural way. I'll insert some more pictures here. Um, but these are from their new collection. How pretty are they? I've only really kind of started to introduce pearls into my kind of jewellery rotation. Um, I got a beautiful pearl necklace actually um, in the summer that I wore quite a bit when we were in Mallorca. Um, and I'm, I'm digging pearls. I'm, I'm gonna say it, I do quite like a little bit of pearliness now and then. Um, these are gorgeous, absolutely. Oh, it would help if I actually took out the current earrings that I have in, wouldn't it? So I can show you properly <laughs> what these all look like when they are on. Ah, they're so beautiful. Also, they're silver, which is quite um, unheard of with me. I am a gold jewellery person through and through, but 
I do like to try and push the boat out a little bit with my tastes sometimes. The doorbell. BLB. Oh, I always have to like sprint because it doesn't ring for very long. Um, and then as soon as it stops ringing, the, the intercom just cuts out and I can't speak. Uh, got there just in time. Anyway, what was I talking about? My earrings. Oh, look at these. Very nice. Oh, I like these a lot. Um, do check out Mold Atelier because their jewellery is absolutely beautiful and just the craftsmanship and just it's hard to describe through the screen um but the the the, the way in which their jewelry feels is very very pleasing <laughs> um i know that kind of sounds a bit odd but it has this really beautiful like you can tell it's been kind of like crafted with care and very much hand crafted um so yes i cannot wait to go out to dinner this evening in my fancy new earrings me to start packing. I've got my boxes here. Um, today is going to be spent packing and actually the remainder of this week is going to be spent packing. So I think it is time to sign up the vlog because nobody wants to just watch me pack. Um, it's, it's a task I've been putting off because it just feels huge, doesn't it? The, the idea of packing up everything. Once I'm in it and I've got the groove on, I've got some music on, I'm going to put the Beatles on, I'll be fine, but it's just the, the first bit where I just feel like it's just going to be this never-ending task. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm going to get it done. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the Beatles on because um, Dean and I have just started watching the Get Back kind of documentary film series um, that Peter Jackson has uh, produced. And I'm really enjoying it, surprisingly. I mean, I, I like the Beatles a lot, but I wouldn't say I'm a mega, mega fan. Um, like I don't know a lot about them, but I do really like their music. So I was a bit like, oh, am I going to enjoy this? But it's actually really soothing to watch. I think you have to have an interest in the Beatles to enjoy it, and, or an interest in maybe like singing, uh, like songwriting and the composing of songs and albums to kind of really enjoy it, because it is literally just like eight hours of just the Beatles um, it's the process of them recording the Let It Be album, basically, and the build up towards the performance that they did on the roof of the Apple Studios in Savile Row. Um, so it's super interesting to kind of see some of the songs that are so well known now in their early stages, just hearing them like humming them and kind of like putting them together and just seeing the Beatles kind of tinkering around on their instruments, basically. I, I find it super interesting to watch and a bit like, a bit ASMR, quite soothing, a really nice thing to watch in the evening. However, because we've been watching that, all I've had in my head now for a few days, I've just been continuously humming the songs off that album, so I feel like I need to listen to it to kind of get it out of my head. Um, right, the more I ramble on, the less time I'm packing. So, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. It's nice to be back. Um, how long I'll be back for? Who knows? And um, thank you. Wait, no, I just said thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.